guys, I thought I would share this here too so you can all get a good laugh out of it instead of just the people who follow my Twitter and my personal Facebook. So, on the talk, I guess it was a rerun because it was like Marie Osmond's 60th birthday or something, which has come and gone by like a year since then, evidently. Uh, but her brothers came out to sing to her and they were showing clips of when they were kids on stage performing together and she made a big deal out of pointing out this is their last time together or performing together ever and i was like wait 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 wait, wait. <laughs> hold the fucking phone there's more osmonds than just donnie and marie that were famous and nobody told me <laughs> like wait what <laughs> and i posted this on my social medias and people thought i was trolling i'm like no no i swear i am not this is not a troll post i am legitimately intrigued i never knew there was more of them much less a whole bunch of them and this is where virtually everybody jumped in to point out well they're mormons of course there's more of them which can we not shit on Mormons, please? Like, some of my favorite people are Mormons, so can we not? But anyways, um, I was just like, I know, I, I obviously knew that there was a big family she came from, but I didn't know they were all performers, much less performers with them. When people refer to the Osmonds, I just thought they meant collective of Donnie and Marie. <laughs> I thought it was a shorter way of just saying that. I did not know there were more of them. And my dad was just like, how the f where the fuck have you been? And I was like, again, I knew about Donnie and Marie, although, come to think of it, I don't think I've ever actually heard a Donnie and Marie song. Holy shit. And he's like, okay, first off, how the fuck? Secondly, they, they were... They were like the white version of the Jackson 5. <laughs> How the hell did you not know about them? And I was like, I don't know, you tell me. I knew about the Jackson 5. I mean, I watched the cartoon when I was little. I've seen clips of them. Admittedly, there's probably a lot of their stuff I don't know too. But I mean, I at least know some of theirs. I at least know of them. But <laughs> the odds, I didn't know this was a thing. He's like, yeah, not only were they a thing, they had a variety show, they had a cartoon series, they had another show, then Donnie and Marie had a show, I'm like, then they had a Vegas show, I'm like, oh my god. Like, really though. <laughs> I kind of half thought he was joking till I googled it and felt really embarrassed. I mean, it'd be one thing to just chalk it up to age or lack thereof on this one, because obviously I didn't live through the 70s, much to my chagrin, but, um, just given the fact that literally my entire existence revolves around the 60s and the 70s, how the actual fuck did something this big just right under the radar? I'd never even heard of it being a thing. How the hell? How the actual hell? That's why I was like, you're kidding, right? <laughs> Until people left or right were turning up clips. Although, a lot of people kept turning up the same one, which I'm just like, were they a one-hit wonder? Is this, like, the only one that they had? Because I keep getting linked to crazy horses, like, over and over and over and over. I'm like, did they have other songs, or was it just the one? I don't know. <laughs> crazy because like the day before this aired or a night before I should say my sister messaged me saying oh my god you need to watch Joseph in the Technicolor Dreamboat the version with Donny Osmond in it it's like the most batshit insane thing ever it's like Andrew Lu and but that let me Andrew Lloyd Webber meets Bob Fosse and I have so many questions <laughs> which yeah yeah, I did end up watching it a night or two ago. 
I feel like I need to give this a second watch just to let this really marinate into my brain of what the hell I just watched before I can even think about reviewing the dang thing. So I'm just like, I spent at least half of it sitting there going, what the fuck? Just, and in such shock to where it was like deer in the headlights of, I'm so in shock at this one thing to where there's probably 10 other things going on at the same time that I am totally missing. I know a lot of the words going zing just because I'm so distracted by the sheer what the fuckery of it all. I'm like, yeah, okay, now that I've sat through it once and I know what all is coming, I need to watch it a second time to try and let the rest of it sink in and then review it. Because, oh, it's getting reviewed. Oh, it's getting reviewed. I'm not entirely sure how I'm going to review it, but I'm going to. <laughs> Part of me is going, I don't know why, but I'm going to. <laughs> um, I mean, I didn't hate it. That's the weird thing. I actually kind of loved it in a weird-ass way. I can't explain why, because I don't, I can't, I don't know why. But I did. I, just, I guess that's the musical theater nerd in me talking. But oh my gosh, I guess because there's so many musical motifs in it that are so close to Jesus Christ Superstar, which I do love. So I guess because of that, I could overlook a lot of the weirdness just because I was like, oh, but this sounds like this, and this sounds like that, and this sounds like this, and this sounds like that, like through literally the entire thing. It, I mean, they're both Andrew Lloyd Webber, so. But. It's very, very ironic timing that this was literally the night before all of the rest of this went down. And I'm still, like, each video that I find, I'm kind of like, what the hell am I watching and why am I watching this? But at the same time, why can't I turn away? <laughs> it's so bizarre. I mean, I don't... I. I don't think this is gonna, like, be my next obsession. Don't worry, guys. I'm just intrigued at how the hell was there this phenomena this big from that particular era that I apparently never even heard of when literally all I do is research the crap out of that era, specifically pop culture-wise. I would love to know. I would love to know the answer to that given that this has been my entire life, that I've studied it this hard, and I feel like I failed somehow. That there apparently was this big of a gap that just went whoosh over my head I never ever heard of, besides just Donnie and Marie themselves. Although, like I said, when I thought about it, I was like, have I even actually heard a Donnie and Marie song? I mean, obviously, I've seen them pop up on things. I believe I've seen them cover other people's songs, but I'm not sure I've ever heard something that's theirs. Yeah, I don't know. I mean, I know a lot of people who are, like, obsessed with them, and this is one of those things where, without knowing anything about them, just knowing, like, the public stigma that people generally make fun of them, I've kind of run with it. For no good reason, even though I don't know what I'm making fun of because I don't know anything about them in reality. So I'm like, you know, maybe I should educate my freaking self. Because <laughs> who knows, maybe I'll end up liking them. Probably not. But I mean, maybe. I don't think it'll be obsession worthy, but I might at least like, maybe. But <laughs> I have no idea. I'm just like, what the heck? I am so confused. And then every time I remind myself of this being a thing, I have to go palate cleanse with the, with the Jackson 5. <laughs> oh god, we know where my loyalties lie, but anyway. <laughs> that is it for this one. I just thought you guys would get a laugh out of how hard I failed for once at the retro pop culture of my favorite era. I was like, I don't know how that happened. I don't know how that happened. I am so ashamed of myself. <laughs> oh god, that's why I'm like, well, now I have to fix it. Now that I know it's a thing, now I gotta fix it. So, <laughs> anyways, that is it for this time, so. 
<laughs> you guys know what to do. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a like. If you're not already and you like to be, click subscribe, hit that notification bell icon so you never miss an upload, leave comments down below, make sure you're following my social media accounts, my Facebook fan page, my Twitter, my Instagram, my Etsy, everything and more, it's all down below, and if you like what I do here on this channel and you like to help support it, the donation link, as always, is down in the description. Anyway guys, until next time, bye bye